we do have a, a strategy of developing a bigger group in terms of uh, international presence, and we have targeted uh, Greece as a top country to be in the short term. Uh, why Greece? Because I mean, we think uh, Greece as a country has a bright future. I mean, you guys have been doing your homework in a perfect way, uh, and we are envisioning Greece to perform better than the average of the European Union for the next five to ten years. Uh, on top of that, the penetration of the insurance in Greece is lower than that we have in, in Europe. So let's say uh, the, the potential growth of the market in the future will be much higher than in any other country in Europe. So this is why we have targeted Greece, also because I think it has an average, I mean a size that is suitable for us. And we are a multinational company, but not, we are not huge. So Greece has a size that uh, fits perfectly with our strategy. And uh, why Drogius? Uh, I would say because of two things. First of all, because uh, the company itself, the culture, the values that they have, they are so close to our values that it was very easy to, um, to, to find the fit with the Cascarelli's family and the company. And on top of that, because uh, the strategy that they have as a company, uh, from the distribution strategy to the uh, uh, people strategy, and, and the way they do things are quite let's say, uh, close to what we think is the way to, to, uh, to manage an insurance company. And uh, we think we can bring some added value to Hydrogius and to the Greek market, uh, developing new products, and uh, let's say reinforcing what they are doing in a perfect way, which is the quality of service for the clients. Now, what this added value means, are we going to see another name from Hydrogius? Are we going to see more products in other uh, sectors? I would say no. Um, the uh, brand equity that the drugs has in, in Greece is, is very high, it's very strong, so we're not thinking of changing anything. As I said, we have a rich disagreement with the drugs because they, we think they are doing things very well. So uh, what we want to bring, obviously, we are experts in products that the drugs is not managing right now, so we're going to bring our expertise to the Greek market. And also uh, the challenges that we're facing uh, global-wise, I mean, it's easier to, cha to, to face these challenges when you are part of a bigger group because you have the uh, possibility to have uh, higher investments and, and your time to market will be, uh, will be faster. So this is what we want to bring to Hydrogeos. Let's say innovation, improving and time to market. And last question, Hydrogeos has a market share here in Greece. Would you like to increase this market share or...? Obviously, obviously. <laughs> it's, uh, that's the final target. Being stronger, being better, yes. Thank you very Ευχαριστώ. Η επόμενη ημέρα είπαμε ότι μετά τα 50 χρόνια, σήμερα με τη, με τη συνεργασία και τη συμφωνία με τη Ρεάλε, θα χαράξουμε καινούρια πορεία για τα επόμενα 50 χρόνια. Η Ρεάλε είναι ένας οργανισμός 200 ετών, ιδρύθηκε το 1828, σχεδόν και η ίδια χρονολογία με το ελληνικό κράτος. Έχουμε 200 χρόνια το ελληνικό κράτος και άλλα 200 χρόνια η Ρεάλε. Άρα συμφωνήσαμε σε φιλοσοφίες, σε πολλές αξίες και διάφορα, ούτω ώστε να προστατεύσουμε το όνομά μας, το δίκτυό μας πάνω απ' όλα, αλλά και το προσωπικό της εταιρείας. Το, να, το... το προσωπικό της εταιρείας προστατεύθηκε και θα έχει μέλλον μαζί με την Ιδρόγιο Ρεάλε. Τώρα τα 2.000 περίπου άτομα που συνεργάζονται μαζί σας, τι θα δούνε, ποια αλλαγή θα δούνε την επόμενη μέρα. Καμία αλλαγή. Συνεχίζουμε με ελληνικό management, το ίδιο management, μόνο που θα εμπλουτιστούμε με νέα προϊόντα, ζωικά ίσως, αλλά και νέα τεχνονοσία και εμπειρία 200 ετών μιας εταιρείας που είναι στην Ιταλία. Η πρώτη στην Ιταλία συνεταιριστική εταιρεία.